cool girl. Don't turn that, that coon to a chicken nugget. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm getting up. Fella, you're really huggy today, hmm? Oh, don't be so sad. No one's gonna turn into a chicken nugget. <laughs> Sorry, Muffin. I'm talking nonsense. I'm still a little sleepy. You had a nightmare? Oh, sweetie. It wasn't real. You're hugging me even tighter. I guess it was a really, really scary dream, huh? You're okay, you're here, you're safe, and you're in my arms. You can cry all you want. I'm here to take care of you. Nothing bad is happening right, right now. It's just me petting your cute fluffy head. <laughs> Your fur is so soft and a little messy. You must have tossed and turned a lot. You poor thing. Let's do some breathing exercises together, okay? Follow my count. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Are you feeling any better? You're feeling a little calmer? That's good. Sweetie. You don't need to be sorry for waking me up. I'm not mad at you. I want to be there for, your, for, for you. Whenever you need me, okay? You know that. Hmm. Muffin? Could you please tell me a bit about your nightmare? Maybe talk, talk, talking about it will make it a lot less scary. So that's what got you all wild up? You dreamed that I left the house and never ever came, came back home to you? Oh, muffin. You do know that won't happen in a million, bajillion years, right? I like my bed too much to leave it forever. 
I love to sleep. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The actual best part about coming home is getting to see my sweet little kitty. <laughs> I love you, little buddy. You do realize that that smurf one I gave you isn't just for playing fishing games, right? You, you can text me when I'm at work. Then I can text you back to let you know when I'm coming home. <laughs> yeah. I do have to teach you to text me. Although, I hope you don't learn how to call me on my phone. <clears throat> well, I'd love to answer your calls. I can't do that while I'm working. I'll be busy. But I will set aside time to text you. Does that sound fair? Alright, that's settled then. Muffin, I, I can't, I, I can't just sit at home with you forever, even if I really, really want one to. You make every day so much fun. I need to have that job because it gives me money, and money lets me buy food and toys. If I didn't have that job, we, we would have to live on the streets. No, silly. <laughs> Living on the streets is not fun. There are a lot of bullies outside. They are mean people who like to pull Nego's tails for no reason. I don't, I don't know why bullies exist, but they do. There's people out there who find it funny to cause others pain. But hey. You don't need to worry about them, because you're inside. Also, as your owner, I'll protect you from all the baddies. I'm your hero? Oh, it's nice of you to say. Thank you. Even if there weren't any bad baddies, living on the streets means no bad, no video games, and no bats. <laughs> I figured you'd be happy about the no bats part. <laughs> hmm. Would you give up playing your fishing game if it meant that you'd have to never take another bath ever again? Absolutely not. <laughs> I thought so. You're too much of an addict to give up gaming. Yeah, those, those fish on your phone are pretty shiny. <sighs> I need to go back to sleep, Muffin. It's, it's still dark out. Hmm. I have to stay awake? Why? Because you want to spend time with me before I go off to work? Well, I have some good news for you, sweetie. It's Saturday. I can stay home and play with you tomorrow. Play with you today. Yes, that does sound fun. But we need to sleep before we play, all right? Sure, we can cuddle. <laughs> no, silly, you can't be the big spoon. You're half my size. <laughs> good, good night.